everyone. My name is Amy Woods from Oklahoma Able Tech, and I'm an occupational therapy assistant and the liaison between Able Tech and Sooner Start. I've been in pediatrics since 2011, mainly working in um, outpatient clinics. I just have a passion for watching children develop and learn and grow to their best potential. So I'm excited today to introduce you to assistive technology for infants and toddlers. In this course today, we will be defining AT devices and services and identify the 10 categories of AT, explain the partnership between Sooner Start and Oklahoma Able Tech, identify funding resources, document AT and the IFSP, the Individualized Family Service Plan, and explore AT for transition. Our first topic today is going to be devices and services. Assistive technology known as AT can be defined as a device or service that allows a child to do something they might not otherwise be able to do. An AT device is any item, piece of equipment, or product, whether acquired commercially off the shelf modified or customized that is used to increase the functional capabilities of an infant or toddler with a disability. AT services directly assist infants or toddlers with a disability in the selection, acquisition, or use of an AT device. The most common AT services are evaluations to determine AT needs, borrowing, purchasing or leasing of AT devices, training or technical assistance for professionals, and training or technical support to the infant, toddler, and caregiver. There are three levels of AT. The most common is low-tech AT. It's because it has minimal to no complex components. It's low cost. Um, it has, it's usually found um, within the home or easily uh, acquired from Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that, that is just minimal cost. Now, mid-tech AT requires some training due to possible electronic components, um, but it's affordable. And then high-tech AT is typically customized to the individual usually costly due to um, the electronic components, um, the manufacturer's prices, and it's re it requires practice and training. AT category overview. Oklahoma Able Tech has an extensive inventory of low tech to high tech AT. Although many devices could be more, uh, could be Although many devices could belong to more than one group, Able Tech provides information on the AT categories in AT Discovery. Um, this can be found on our website, okabletech.org. And the content includes um, specific AT inventory items related to the category, funding options, case study, and documentation of each category. And like I said, you can find that, that on our website at okabletech.org. The AT categories, there are 10. Like I said, um, the first one is computer access. Second is daily living, environmental adaptations, hearing, learning, cognition, and development, mobility, seating, positioning, recreation, sports, and leisure speech communication, and vehicle modification. And last is vision. So some AT examples of computer access are like adapted keyboards, mice, um, head tracking, um, just different things that can adapt to a computer. Daily living are any types of tools that help you with everyday activities such as a dressing board, or a pocket dresser, um, 
Also tools for the kitchen, adapted spatulas, cookware, and those types of things. Environmental adaptations is a little different. Um, these include switches, Bluetooth devices, book talkers, smart home technology. Hearing are definitely listening devices such as voice amplification systems, hearing aids, and um, devices where you can hear the doorbell or the fire alarm. Um, learning cognition and development is definitely for reading, writing, and math. Um, it can be anything from apps to tangible items to help you with your learning and development. Recreation, sports, and leisures are things like adapted balls, sensory regulation items, adapted toys, even things that um, are low vision, such as braille devices and um, playing cards and things like that. Speech communication can be anything from speech communication boards, speech generating devices known as SGDs, Big Mac talkers, all sorts, even applications. Vehicle modification and transportation typically includes a specialist um, to help you acquire these types of devices just due to their specialized, customized orders. We have a few things in vehicle modification that do not need um, guidance or a special trained person um, to use. And then vision is anything um, that helps with magnification, devices with audio features, and braille. So now we're going to test your knowledge and check for some understanding of AT devices and services. Answer the following questions to demonstrate understanding of AT devices and services. Question 1. Which of the following best defines AT? A. Speech generating devices for communication. B. Any device or service that allows an infant or toddler to complete a task they might not otherwise be able to do. C. Commercially available items used to help with a variety of activities. And D application of knowledge or equipment for practical purposes. The correct response is B. Any device or service that allows an infant or toddler to complete a task that they might not otherwise be able to perform. Question 2. Which of the following is an example of an AT device? A. iPad with an app including an alphabet app, B, evaluations for AT needs of an infant or toddler, C, a consultation with an AT professional for fine motor needs of an infant or toddler, or D, the Oklahoma AT technical assistance document. I'm going to bet the correct response is A, iPad with an alphabet app. Question 3. Which of the following is not an AT service? A. A training or technical assistance for infants or toddlers with a disability. Purchase leasing AT. C. Training technical assistance for a professional. Or D. An adapted or modified bath chair. The correct response is D. AT service is any service that directly assists infants or toddlers with a disability in selection, acquisition, or the use of an AT device. True or false? AT devices can be identified as belonging to more than one AT category. That is true. While many items could belong to more than one group, this categorical organization helps with planning and targeting function for each piece of AT. Sometimes that makes it tricky to categorize the pieces of equipment just because they can belong to so many categories. 
Question five, true or false? A pediatric walker, vibrating swing, make and take, boppy, and beanbag could all be designated in the seating and positioning category of AT. The correct response is true. Aids for trunk support and seating support include items to aid in mobility. Hands down, those are all aids to um, handle trunk support and seating support. Question six, a magnifier would be best categorized as environmental adaptations. The correct response is false. This definitely belongs in the vision category. Which of the following is not a category of AT? A, learning cognition development. B, community living. C, daily living. Or D, speech communication. The correct response is B, community living. Community living is a customary environment, not a category of AT. Topic two. Partnership between Sooner Star and Oklahoma Able Tech. Sooner Star and Able Tech partnered to provide AT to children ages birth to three. Able Tech provides Sooner Star teams with 28 AT assessment kits statewide. These kits are used with families to increase awareness of assistive technology and devices. To access devices, to acquire devices um, that benefit children that are in the Sooner Start program. You can refer to our um, AT assessment kit list at our website at okabletech.org under the Community Services tab. AT is in the following categories in our kits around the state. We have items for daily living, environmental adaptations, hearing, um, cognition, learning and development, recreation, sports and leisure, seating, positioning and mobility, and speech communication, along with vision. Now we're going to get into the nitty gritty of responsibilities of each organization involved in the Able Tech and Sooner Start collaboration. The Oklahoma State Department of Health, OSDH, provides AT kit demonstrations to children and reports to Able Tech, takes pictures, writes, and submits success stories, checks inventory annually and reports broken, lost, and stolen items, provides current staff contact information quarterly, and meets quarterly to discuss partnership. The Oklahoma State Department of Education, OSDE, provides AT to teams as requested, and they meet quarterly to discuss the partnership. Able Tech plays a huge role in this partnership. We track and monitor base kits of barcoded AT, we purchase recognition AT that's new and innovative quarterly and annually. We provide inventory checklists annually to Oklahoma State Department of Health along with sanitization checklists. We supply OSDH with demonstration reports and success story forms. We have weekly and monthly communications. We provide consults, information, and assistance, and training services. This is my favorite part because I get to dive in with kids specifically, and I just get to excel in what I love to do with their providers um, and the families. It's my most valued part of this collaboration. We also provide short-term loans for Oklahoma State Department of Health and families to trial AT. We meet quarterly along with the other organizations, and we purchase broken, lost, and stolen AT for the base kit inventory. This does not include the inventory that is broken, lost, or stolen that has been provided as a recognition award. AT demonstration. 
A device demonstration is the first time a specific piece of AT or a group of like devices from the same AT category is shown to a child in their family. Only the first time is a demonstration. The demonstration should compare and contrast features of the devices and benefits that are going to help the child excel. The purpose is to enable a family to make an informed choice about using assistive technology in the child's environment. Device demonstration data collection. These are the things that our providers report on monthly, and this has to include dates of demonstration of AT, county, what type of provider discipline, whether it's speech, OT, PT, um, developmental, educators, vision, um, any kind of discipline, um, even RNs. Parent guardian satisfaction, so was the parent satisfied with the device demonstration or were they just not into it? It's also the device demonstrations are due by the fifth of each month. So we can get those recorded and put into our data collection. There are three reporting form options to demonstrate submissions. We have a PDF Sooner Start AT Assessment Kit demo form. They can be mailed to Able Tech and they can be faxed to Able Tech. Our mailing address is 1514 West Hall of Fame, Stillwater, Oklahoma, 74078. And our fax number is 405-744-2487. OSDE has also given us a reporting tool for AT online demonstrations. If you would like the details of that, please inquire um, for details. Also, we have, AbleTech has an online Sooner Start AT Assessment Kit demo form. And you fill out the form online and submit it. So there's no paperwork, you just directly submit it online. Now we're gonna discuss success stories. Success stories are stories that provide information about the child and the use of AT. Success, success stories include a short story of 500 words or less, a picture illustrating the use of AT, and a photo release. We have to have that photo release in order to be able to show the child's picture um, and advertise in our newsletters and get to um, make marketing materials for your Sooner Start agencies. We have a success story form online. It's also performed through Formstack. You can fill it out online or the parent can fill it out online and you can immediately submit the success story. So this is a cute success story. This is um, Ella. She's a two-year-old, ongoing precious girl, received a med, uh, Ella, a two-year-old, ongoing precious girl, received a Nimbo Walker through the collaboration between Creek County, Sooner Start, and Able Tech's Pediatric Walker Project. In her first few years of life, Ella underwent three open heart surgeries, as well as multiple heart procedures. Ella has limitations in strength, endurance, and ability to walk independently. Ella enjoys being outside. Ella demonstrated a desire to be functionally mobile when outdoors. The Nimbo Pediatric Walker was the perfect AT device to facilitate Ella's desire to be more independent in her mobility. This picture illustrates Ella at the park, on the grass, just enjoy, enjoying a day out in the sunshine. It's just a perfect story. So our quarterly and annual recognition criteria. 
Able Tech provides quarterly opportunities for additional AT worth $500 to Sooner Start teams meeting the following requirements. You need to show increase efforts in submission of AT demonstrations in consecutive quarters. Have two or more disciplines submit demonstrations each quarter. Submit a success story with a photo release and a picture illustrating the child utilizing the device. And your satisfaction rate at a minimum of 80%. Decision outcome rate at a minimum of 85%. This means that 85% of the demonstrations resulted in a decision that the AT will or will not meet the child's need. AbleTech provides an annual recognition opportunity for additional AT worth $800 to the Sooner Start teams that consistently show quality performance throughout all four quarters. We use a point system um, as discussed in the previous slide. They, these points are tallied up each quarter and whomever has the highest points at the end of the fiscal year wins the annual recognition award. Wow, we're already at a check for understanding for partnership between Sooner Start and Oklahoma Able Tech. So let's check to see what we've learned. Answer the following questions to demonstrate understanding of the partnership between Sooner Start and Able Tech. Question eight, who is responsible for the AT kits? A, Able Tech, B, Oklahoma State Department of Education, or C, Oklahoma State Department of Health? The correct response is C, the Oklahoma State Department of Health is responsible for the AT kits and AT kit inventory. True or false, an annual inventory check is due to AbleTech on the condition of all barcoded AT provided in the kits. The correct response is true. An annual Inventory report is due to AbleTech on the condition of all assistive technology equipment provided in the AT kits. That is a base kit item. These do not include award items. True or false? The purpose of the device demonstration is to enable a family to make an informed choice about using AT in the child's environment. The correct response to question 10 is true. The purpose of the device demonstration is to enable an individual to make an informed choice. Question 11. A device demonstration compares the blank and blank of a particular AT device or category of devices. A, data and participants, or B, features and benefits. The correct response is B, features and benefits. We definitely need to compare and contrast the features and benefits of the AT device that is being demonstrated to the individual or small group of people. Question 12, true or false? A family is required to submit a success story. Correct response is false. A success story is voluntary. Question 13. How many AT reporting forms are there? A, one, B, two, C, three, or D, four? The correct response is C, three. There's a PDF Word document that can be mailed or faxed. There is a online OSDE tool for AT de demonstration that you can apply to me for inquiry. And then we have our online Sooner Start AT Assessment Kit demo form, 
which is on our website at okabletech.org under the Sooner Start Collaboration. Topic three, AT funding. The funding source that may be used to purchase AT for a child depends on the type of AT service or devices needed. The IFSP team will identify all possible resources to fund the recommended AT. Oklahoma AbleTech has compiled a list of public and private funding sources with criteria regarding age, disability, and income. You can view the Oklahoma Funding Guide on our website at okabletech.org under the Resources tab and scrolling down to AT Funding Guide. We really like this funding guide. It's very useful. It's robust. It has pieces of the puzzle, what AT devices are and services are provided, and just the exact contact information, just a plethora of knowledge in this AT funding guide that I really suggest you take a browse at. We also have the long-term loans of AT and durable medical equipment. AbleTech and OSDE collaborate to provide free long-term loans of specific pediatric AT and DME. Examples of items include wheelchairs, walkers, standards, ankle foot orthrosis, as known as AFOs. Please note that all items available have been donated. When these items are retrieved, they are refurbished, repaired, and are reassigned to match an individual child's needs. Sooner Start Funding Alternative. If the Sooner Start team is unable to locate funding through other resources, Sooner Start is the payer of last resort. They are the last um, funding alternative that you should be inquiring about. You should be able to check out insurance, check out Oklahoma Able Tech's funding guide to find different resources for that equipment. The Sooner Start team must submit the following form, Assistive Technology Request for Use of Sooner Start Fund. This can be found in the appendices of the Sooner Start Operations Manual. Equipment funded through Sooner Start remains the property of Sooner Start unless arrangements are made through a purchase sale form for the transfer of AT to transfer the device ownership. This also can be found on AbleTech's website in the Sooner Start Collaboration tab. So let's clarify what you know about AT funding. Answer the following questions to demonstrate understanding of the AT funding. Question 14, true or false? If an AT device is recommended at the end of an AT assessment by the IFSP team, the Sooner Start program must pay for the device if no other funding resources are available. The correct response is true. If the Sooner Start team is unable to locate funding through other resources, Sooner Start is the payer of last resort. Which of the following is not a criteria used to help locate a funding source? A, age, B, gender, C, disability, or D, outcome? income. <laughs> the correct response is B. Gender has no fluence. The correct response is B. Gender has no influence on eligibility to receive funding. However, age, disability, and income are the most common criteria. True or false? Oklahoma Able Tech has compiled a list of public and private funding sources with 
criteria regarding age, disability, and income. The correct response is true. Oklahoma Able Tech has compiled a list of public and private funding sources with criteria regarding age, disability, and income. True or false, equipment funded through Sooner Start must remain the property of Sooner Start. The correct response is true. Equipment funded through Sooner Start must remain the property of Sooner Start. Question 18, true or false? Able Tech offers free long-term loans of donated AT and durable medical equipment, DME, to children. The correct response is true. Able Tech and OSDE collaborate to provide free long-term loans of a specific pediatric AT and DME. Topic four documentation of AT in the Individualized Family Service Plan, the IFSP. Written documentation of AT devices and services is critical in the IFSP as sometimes it is the only information following the child from one place to another. I can't stress this importance enough Children often will start with AT devices and services and nobody knows about it when they um, transition because it's not documented. Therefore, the, the kids have to spend an incredible amount of time regrouping and trying to figure out what AT devices work. So then it delays them in learning and development where we could prevent this as providers and therapists by documenting what equipment you've used and what equipment has been successful. That way it transitions with the child and then the next provider or teacher knows where to start. Early intervention services, including AT, should be documented on the IFSP services and delivery pages. If a parent or guardian has a concern regarding AT specifically, it can be listed in the Family Assessment section. I like that there's these different options for parents and guardians, also the IFS, IFSP team, um, and your service providers. Some examples of documentation are, we are concerned that Millie needs larger print and pictures in books so she can read along. Clint benefited from a six week loan of a switch and adapted toy from Able Tech. These are just simple pieces of documentation that lets the next provider know what's been trialed, what's successful and what works. If a child is using AT, present or past, written documentation is so critical for that child and the family. Here is a chart of an example of the family assessment section in EdPlan. This is where you place areas of concern where the red arrow is below you document the parent or caregiver's concerns, such as, we are concerned that Millie needs large print and pictures in books so she can read along. The present level of development documentation of AT in the IFSP. The present level of development section records information provided by the family and or observed by Sooner Start teams. Members regarding the child's adaptive, personal, social, communication, motor, physical, and cognitive behaviors. If a child is currently using AT, this should be documented in the appropriate section. Some examples of documentation are, Stacy uses a bath chair for bathing or Drake uses a rolled up towel behind his neck to provide head support. 
These are just clear and concise pieces of documentation that explain what AT is needed. Here is the present level of development example. This is a screenshot of the section in EdPlan. In the top, we have put, Stacy uses a bath chair for bathing. This is where it goes for adaptive equipment. And the next section is um, personal and social. Then we have communication, motor physical, and cognitive. So you can document in each one and categorize the AT needs out. Child outcome documentation of AT in the IFSP. The outcome section of the IFSP documents the desired outcomes the family has identified in order of priority. AT may be included as a strategy to reach the goal. The information provides unfamiliar professionals information regarding AT the child is using as a strategy to meet IFSP goals. Some documentation examples are outcome. Bailey will play outside with her brother. And the strategy, how are we going to get to that outcome? Family will explore various assistive technology devices to help Bailey to move around the playground or yard. It doesn't have to be too detailed. We just need clear and dry documentation um, and recorded in the IFSP and in EdPlan. Child outcome documentation example. Here is a screenshot of the child outcome section. You can see where the red arrow is highlighting the box of outcome statements. This is where we would record Bailey will play outside with her brother. Below is the strategies box. This is where we would document how we're going to get to the goal. Family will explore various assistive technology devices to help Bailey move around the playground or yard. Summary of progress uh, documentation of AT in the IFSP. At the IFSP review, any progress made using AT needs to be written in the Summary of Progress section. Some examples are, Carter has learned to use the jelly bean switch to turn on the spinning light show. He is currently learning to use the seven level communication builder to communicate the words more, go, yay, and no. Here is a screenshot of the section where the summary of progress belongs. This is where we have entered those documentation examples. Services and environments, documentation of AT in the IFSP. Written documentation of recommended services is in the services and environments section. Recorded AT services is in this section, holds team members accountable. So this is where um, it is our provider responsibility to document in the IFSP of the AT that is being used or services being used. If IFSP documentation communicates AT services provided to the child, who is providing the service and when the services occurred? This screenshot is very cut and dry. It is the section of the service and environments on EdPlan. Majority of these boxes are drop down. And you're just going to enter how many times a week, the frequency, what service it is, uh, the intensity, is it group or individual, what method is it, um, support outcomes, the date it began, and all kinds of different information that is really going to help the next provider provide for this child. Let's check for our understanding. 
these topics are going quickly, I feel like. So our topic reflection, answer the following questions to demonstrate understanding of documentation in the IFSP. Question 19, true or false? Documentation of AT is insignificant to be written in the IFSP. The correct response is false. Documentation is critical. I cannot stress it enough. It is critical to be written in the IFSP. Therefore, it saves time for the next provider. It saves time for the teachers and struggles in the classroom, and it helps that child get by day to day. Documentation is critical. Question 20. If the blank and blank has a concern regarding AT specifically, it will be listed in the family assessment section. The correct response is C, family and guardian. If the parent or guardian has a concern regarding AT specifically, it will be listed in the family assessment section. Question 21. Early intervention services provided should be documented on the IFSP blank pages? The correct response is C, service delivery. Early intervention services provided, including AT, should be documented on the IFSP service delivery pages. Question 22. The present level of development section records information obtained from the family about recreation and leisure. The correct response is false. The present level of development section records information obtained from the family about daily routines. I don't know why I find that funny. Recreation and leisure, I guess. Question 23. The outcome section of the IFSP documents the desired outcome that the IFSP team has identified in order of priority. The correct response is false. The outcome section of the IFSP documents the desired outcomes that the family has identified in order of priority. 24. At the IFSP review, any progress made using AT needs needs to be written in the blank section. A. Summary of progress. B. Outcomes. Or C. Present level of development. The correct response is summary of progress. At the IFSP review, any progress made using AT needs to be written in the summary of progress. Question 25. Recording AT services in the blank section holds team members accountable. A. Outcomes. B. Services and environments. The correct response is B. Written documentation of recommended services is in the service and environments section. Topic 5. AT for transition. A child transitioning into the school system with an IFSP would have previously had considerations of AT needs as required for him and her to benefit in their environment to achieve the IFSP outcomes. Hence, this is why it's so important for documentation. The Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, the IDEA, explains that 90 days before the child turns three, the team members working with the child and his or her family are required to meet with the local education agency, the LEA, to discuss the upcoming transitions. AT for Transition Conference. Here is the specific law about um, AT for Transition Conference. Conference to discuss services. The state leading agency must ensure that 
one. If a toddler with a disability may be eligible for preschool services under Part B of the Act, the lead agency, with the approval of the family of the toddler, convenes a conference. Among the lead agency, the family and the LEA, not fewer than 90 days, and at the discretion of all parties, not more than nine months before the toddler's third birthday, to discuss any services the toddler may receive under Part B of the Act. During the transition conference, the family and the IFSP team shares information with the LEA about services and the child has received while in Sooner Start, including AT services and devices. The LEA may discuss what devices and services could benefit the child as he or she transitions to a new environment where activities and routines are different. Additional consideration of AT will be discussed at the IEP meeting after eligibility for Part B services has been determined. At that time, AT needing to transition with the child requires the purchase, sale, or statement declining the sale of AT devices form to be signed. AT Transition Steps and Services. Transition Steps and Services is the section of the IFSP that includes information for a child who is transitioning from Sooner Start Services. If AT was used with the child or is currently being used, it may be documented under Steps and Activities to prepare the family and child for the new setting. Documentation examples are, Ben has successfully been using PECS to communicate with his family and caregiver. The LEA has been notified that Paula uses social stories when transitioning from one activity to another. This is a screenshot of the steps and services example in EdPlan. You can see where the red arrow is highlighted. This is where steps and activities should be documented. And this is where we have included. The LEA has been notified that Paula uses social stories when transitioning from one activity to another. Let's check for understanding. Answer the following questions to demonstrate understanding of AT for transition. Question 26. Blank days before the child turns three, the team members working with the child and his or her family are required to meet with the LEA to discuss the upcoming transition. A, 20, B, 90, or C, 7? The correct response is B, 90 days. The Individuals with Disabilities Education Act explains that 90 days before the child turns three, the team members working with the child and his or her family are required to meet with the local education agency, the LEA, to discuss the upcoming transition. Question 27, true or false? Oklahoma State Department of Health provides an agreement form for school districts, public agencies, or parents to transfer AT either through sell or transfer? The correct response is false. AbleTech provides an agreement form for school districts, public agencies, or parents to transfer AT either through sale or transfer. Question 28. If AT was used with the child or is currently being used, it should be documented under the blank section to prepare the family and child for the new setting. A, services and environments, B, child outcome, or C, steps and services. The correct response is C, steps and services. 
If AT was used with a child or is currently being used, it should be documented under the steps and services to prepare the family and child for the new setting. This brings us to our course wrap up. I really hope today has been enjoyable for you and informational. If you have any questions, I'm always here. This course summary provided the definition and categories of AT devices and services specifically related to infants and toddlers, an overview of SoonerStart and AbleTech's partnership and data collection, appropriate Oklahoma funding options with the explanation of criteria for funding, a review of AT documentation in multiple sections of the IFSP, and five, details regarding the transition of a child from Sooner Start into a new environment. Again, my name is Amy Woods from Oklahoma Able Tech, and I've really enjoyed presenting this information to you today. Our office hours at Able Tech are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Our phone numbers are 1-800-257-1705, or my office phone number is 405-744-7734. I can be reached by email at amy.l.woods at okstate.edu. Or you can send me some mail at 1514 West Hall of Fame, Stillwater, Oklahoma, 74078. And again, thank you for joining me today.